Hello everyone, I'm Jay and welcome to my channel AskJay.com um, Today we're talking about CISSP practice questions. I have got a number of people asking me questions, right? Um, you know, where did I do my practice questions? How did I pass? Uh, what resources I, ha I have used? Although I made a video about all the resources I have used, uh, please check out the video. But today I'm just going to talk about the practice questions because that's the most asked question for me, right? Um, so before we move on, please do like and subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. So, right, practice questions. Let me tell you this, first, first things first. The exam questions, you're not going to see them anywhere. None, almost none of the practice questions are, uh, resemble the exam questions. Trust me, I have done the exam twice. I passed the second time, right? So, and doing all the practice questions, I have done about a couple of thousand, two, three thousand practice questions. And then you go into the exam and you feel like you're taking a different exam altogether. So this is going to be brutal, right? So I, what practice questions I have done is, um, I have done Thor Peterson practice questions. I have done his course, the boot camp, and the practice questions. And then I have done IC Square official practice questions. That's the only two resources I have, I have used to practice the questions. I have um, taken 10 sample questions from study notes on theory, uh, Luke Ahmed's, because 10 are free on their website. I was going to buy his, uh, more practice questions, but I didn't have time. I have heard boson ones are really good as well, or maybe cl as close as you can get to the exam questions. I have heard, I haven't seen them. Um, and I have done 70 free questions available from Mike Chappell's, um, one of this app. It used to be called Pocket Prep, I think. Now it is called IT and Security or something like that, right? So, practice questions. I think now you, you know the resources I have used. But the most important thing is get into the mindset of the exam. Get into the exam mindset, right? When you're doing the practice questions, know why the answer is wrong. Well, you will know when you put an answer and it is correct, you know the reason, maybe, maybe double check again. But even when, you, when the answer is correct, know why the rest of the three answers are not correct. Or when your answer is wrong, know why it's not wrong and also why the other option is right and other two options are wrong. No, you have to know. The only way to know is again by knowing the concepts. This exam is di it's different, it's brutal and um, you know you will really need to understand the concepts to get through it, get to pass the exam, right? So when you are doing the practice questions, get into the exam mindset, think like a manager. Well, that's, a, that's another thing, right? None of the practice questions are really, um, as I said, you don't see them in the exam. They're all focusing straightforward answer or straightforward a technical question or, you know, what is this, what is that? And, you know, something like that. You will know the answer, but in the exam, <laughs> all the four answers are correct at times. Sometimes all, most three answers are correct. Sometimes two answers are correct. In most cases, there is more than one answer is correct. How do you pick the best one? Think like a manager, right? You have to think like a manager. You have to put, um, you know, your <laughs> security manager hat and do what's best, right? So that's the mindset you need to get into. That's, the, that's what your practice questions can do for you. Um, whatever the resource you use for practice questions, most important thing is know why the answers are right, know why the answers are wrong, right? So I have used Thor Peterson's and official IC square practice questions, but there, there are people I have seen study notes and theory, uh, Boson, uh, Mike Chappells and something else, something else. I've seen a number of people doing that. Um, see what works for you. Ideally, I have followed 60, well, I have read online 60, 40, like 40 times, 40% uh, 40 of training and 60% practice questions. I think I have done 50, 50. 
um, you know, whatever approach works for you. I have seen some people um, going to the exam without doing any practice questions and passing the exam. Well, I, I encourage you to do some practice questions. Uh, it may not work for everybody, right? So depending on your time and, and your approach, maybe you, you can give it relevant percentage. And also I would give practice questions a bet, you know, two to three weeks um, before the exam. If you're giving three months for CISSP, two months of training, maybe a parallel um, when you're training, you would take the end of the chapter practice questions, right? But overall practice questions, again, probably another few weeks. Right. I hope that helps. Any questions, please leave a comment below. I do. I will do my best to answer them. Right. <laughs> thank you very much, and you have a great day. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Right. Thank you.